Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. Suzanne Summers' widower, Alan Hamill, says odd things have been happening in the couple's Palm Springs, Calif. Home since the Three's company icon passed, and it seems Summers is still with us in spirit. Three things happened. The same day, that were very strange her devoted husband of nearly 50 years, told us. First off, a hummingbird flew into our house and made the rounds in the kitchen, and the living room and the dining room. The bird then hovered in front of a framed picture of lovebirds Hamill and Summers in their breakfast nook, and even landed on top and stayed there. Hamill even snapped a pic of the bird. After that, the fireplace started all by itself, and some music came on by Suzanne's favorite composter. Otter, no one's ever heard of this guy he said of the obscure maestro. When Hamill, 87, is just about to fall asleep, I feel her laying beside me he exclusively told us. In October, Summers died holding her beloved hubby's hand at their Palm Springs home a day before her 77th birthday. The couple, who was known for their prodigious love life, rarely spend an hour apart in 55 years, together Summers rep previously told Page Six. Hamill now tells us. I'm a believer now that there is an afterlife. I'm convinced of it I think there's something we don't understand. I think there's a plane somewhere after we discard our bodies. We still have our soul. I think our soul is energy. The soul must go somewhere and do something. Since summer's passing, the time when I'm with my family and I have one of my moments when I have to leave, I go into the bedroom I'm alone there. And I feel her presence. Once I interact with her presence, I go back and interact with the family. Her grandkids, one by one, have told me the same thing. I hope it's all true, he figures. It certainly makes the grieving process a lot easier, and, if it is, we'll be reunited. The couple even talk about the afterlife when Summers was still alive. We joke about it. Before she was sick. Before the last chapter Hamill said. We joked about when one of us passed, it would likely be me because I'm ten years older. But Summers told him, knowing you, you'll be on your way back before you're left here called. The step-by-step -step star died of breast cancer in October. She was first diagnosed in 2000, and credited a healthy lifestyle for her longevity.